And this, this uh, album with, uh, or these, these two songs with Kanye, um, you said they were done circa 2002. Um, what, what, was, what was he like at that time? Everybody knows what he's like uh, now, but what was he like back then? No, he, he was, was an egomaniac. He was the same dude. <laughs> he was the same uh-huh. dude. And he always knew he was going to be who he was. I mean, you want to talk about speaking things into existence? That's, that's, that man is the prime example of that in terms of the uh, experience I've seen in life. You know, I was privy to Eminem's experience before he became who he was. But Kanye saw in himself something that he had this ability to make real. And a lot of artists have that, but he had it on a, on a serious level. So, of course, you know, you can love him or hate him. And us in the shy, we both loved him and hated him. Uh, but he plays a very significant role. Now, there's a lot of stories pre his success. For instance, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the issues he had with, with payroll, rest in peace, and his song Never Change. You familiar with, with that situation, Press? I, I I heard a little bit about it, but if you can't fill in our listeners about that, rest in peace to Payroll, another uh, legendary so, artist right there. Okay, so Payroll, legendary artist from Chicago, one of, to me, my personal favorites of all time. So in, I'm going to say maybe 2000, 2001, Kanye was still local. Uh, Payroll had some people behind them. They were working on his album. I think it ultimately was an EP, but they were working on music. Kanye made a beat uh, with the David Ruffin sample uh, for Never Change. It became famous through Jay-Z. But the original version of the song, and when I say original version, I'm not talking about, oh, some different version. I'm talking about the same motherfucking song. Wow. came out. Kanye produced it for payroll. And if you listen to the two back to back, and I have great respect for Jay Z, payroll payroll's version is better. So payroll makes the song, Kanye makes the beat for payroll, and the chorus is the actual chorus of Jay Z's version. So what occurs is Kanye makes this song with payroll, Kanye starts to get put on as working with Rockefeller, plays the beat for Jay Z. Jay-Z, of course, loves it, the Never Change beat. It's a great beat. And then Kanye says to Jay-Z, I already have a chorus written for this, and says the chorus that Payroll wrote for his own song, as if Kanye wrote it. So Jay-Z hears what Payroll wrote, says, yeah, that's great. So if you listen to Jay-Z's version... It's Kanye saying payroll's chorus. And so now, and the whole concept of the song is very similar to payroll's. So, they, yeah, Jay-Z has his own verses, but they're totally on par with what payroll was talking about. So basically, Kanye sells payroll's song to Jay-Z. He doesn't have the right to do it. Payroll gives Kanye all types of grief every time he comes home, busts his head with a bottle, all types of threats, Kanye's sick of it. Finally, Kanye's like, look, what do I got to do to have, make peace with you in order to be able to come home without any drama? Uh, at the end of the day, Kanye throws him 10 stacks to get out of his hair, promises him he'll make some beats that he never makes, and the shit is all fucked up. But and Payroll ultimately passes away far too young and doesn't become the you know, incredible uh, rap icon he deserved to be. But there was also additional shit with Kanye taking shit to Jay-Z of mine. I had a song called Thanks on the White Folks album, and uh, he was privy to that song, took the concept to Jay-Z. Jay-Z has a song called Rock Boys. The concept behind my song, Thanks, is I'm at an award show and I'm thanking people. The entire song, three verses, I'm thanking different people. People should look it up. It's a great song. So in Jay-Z's version, he's doing the same thing, the same exact thing, produced also by Kanye. So 
the original version I heard before it came out, Jay-Z had it on every verse. Then there was beginning to be beef with more concept stealing from Kanye. So the version of Rock Boys that comes out is only the first verse him doing the awards show thank yous, just like my song. And then he switches it up. So for legal liability, it's not the same shit. But if you listen to the two songs, listen to my song Thanks, listen to Rock Boys, Jay-Z, you'll also hear Kanye sharing Chicago shit with Jay-Z and allowing him to use it over his beats. So there's a lot of bullshit to it. But the two songs that we just released on this limited edition white vinyl 45 is the two songs we did together, uh, Struggling and Mask and a Pump, both great songs, you know, and, and Kanye uh, as a hungry producer making his, you know, chipmunk beats. <laughs> 